Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am actually here with BB Crafts and they have sent me some fun molds um, with some cool charms that kind of go with it. And I decided that I wanted to pour some resin in these and just make some pendants. So these are the charms that I selected. It looks like they come with six of each of these different sizes. So I think that makes like 20 or 36 charms that you can create. And then it comes with this mold. And I have gone ahead and placed the charms that I want to use over the corresponding pieces just so I know to lay those in there first and then I can fill up the other ones from there. So I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to create come together with my um, resin. And I'm going to be using Amazing Clear Cast. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $12. So what you want to do is you want to take your um, little cups. And this one is the A cup. And this one is the B cup. I have it written right there. And you're going to do an exact measurement. Like exact measurement on each of these. And then you combine them. So... For the A cup, I'm going to do two tablespoons. Once you know that you have the exact measurement, and I've already gone ahead and put those out, you're going to take another container and you're going to dump them both into your other container and you're going to mix the two. You're wanting to mix it for about three to five minutes so that all of the swirls are out. And you might have some bubbles in this as you do it. So you're gonna wanna mix it relatively slow and consistent as to not mix in any of those bubbles. So I'm gonna combine these two parts into one and the bee casting is not nearly as thick as the A casting. So we're just going to get that all mixed in there. I want to make sure I, I clean this out really good because I want to get all of my mix in here. Resin is a whole lot scarier than you, like it sounds a lot scarier than what it really is. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just slowly mix this together, making sure I pay attention to the edges until my swirls are no longer visible. And I do have some bubbles in there. So I'm just gonna mix this until the swirls are no longer visible. It should take about three to five minutes to get it at the right consistency. This has been sitting for about six minutes. I did let it sit to try to get some of the bubbles out, but um, there's a work of about, I can work with this for about 30 to 40 minutes. And as you can see, the swirls are out of it. And I kind of like the bubbles that are in there now. So if they stay, I'm okay with that because of what we're gonna do. So I am just going to remove these and I'm going to start to fill up my little molds and then we're going to add some alcohol ink to this and I'm going to show you how to do that. It is super fun. Resin has been sitting now overnight, not quite 24 hours, but I live in an exceptionally dry area, so it cures a little bit faster. And I thought we would just take it out and they pop out really nice. So pretty. And I'm going to take and just put these into these little charms. 
like so. So I'll show you how to do that. But they pop out super nice and sometimes when you use molds, they end up being a little bit cloudy. However, these molds are not cloudy. So they have been treated and they are like ready to go with your resin pieces. You don't have to pre-treat this, which is super, super nice. All right, you guys, I'm super excited about these. They turned out really pretty. And something that I noticed is yesterday, I didn't some of the resin bled out, but it's okay because believe it or not, with resin, when it dries, the thinner the uh, coating is, the more flexible it is. It takes longer to dry. So you simply just have to go around the edges and remove it. And sometimes you can even just fold it under and it'll come right up. So those edges are super flexible on these pieces that I uh, overflowed on. And you know, that one, I just ripped it right off. That is super helpful to know so you don't feel like you're missing out or you have to throw away any of your resin pieces because you don't. I am really loving how the this blue looks with that silver in it. I just, it's so pretty. I'm so, so happy with all of these pieces. Let me show you how I'm going to adhere them into the little lockets. Let me push these off to the side, but I will, let me hold them up just so you can just kind of see some of those and, and what they, what they look like first. All right, so I'm going to push these off to the side and I'm going to take this locket first and I'm going to be using some Beacon Multi-Grip. Basically, I'm using the Multi-Grip. I know it'll work. It dries clear and it pretty much is the only thing that I have right now in my stash that I can use since we're all staying at home. And it doesn't take much. I put it in the center so that it can smoosh out and then when it dries, it'll be ready to go on a charm and you won't be able to see that underlay at all. So that is this one. Let me do the heart. I really like this purple heart. It doesn't take much to hold it down and the edges really do just add something super special to this. BB Craft did a really, really nice job on making these molds and these pennants just the perfect size it's so easy to create and you can really go away with some one-of-a-kind designs so pretty oop that one I may need to use a little bit more glue and then if I get the glue outside it's no big deal I can I can totally totally rub it off and then this one, I'm really excited about this one. I kind of am in love with that locket. Just the design of it with the scallop edges. So pretty. So pretty. Two more to go. So again, I have everything listed down below in the description box for you on how to get this kit to create your own. I'm actually almost out of resin, which makes me super sad. So I need to order some more resin so I can create even more lockets and things because this is so much fun. And if you notice, like for example, this is the same, I did the same colors in this resin piece as I did in this resin piece and depending on what is behind it shows through so you're gonna see more of a cool type um, look and this is more of a warm type look because this is gold and this is silver all right you guys I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel I certainly hope that you do so and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Make sure to share it as well. Until next time, I'm Beth Golden. Happy crafting.